Hey friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. How are you guys? Halfway through the week. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to make a cute little lemon sign. It actually says, hello summer. I know it's not summer yet, but it will be soon, soon. <laughs> Anyways, I'm making um, signs for my craft show. And oh, my volume must not be off on my phone. Let me see what we need to do there. I think my, I think it just came in. Okay, there we go. Silent mode on. <laughs> All right. So I, my craft show is in June, so it is not too early to start. Um, I should have been making things all along. No, <laughs> I was making other things. Anyways, um, cute little lemonade sign. It says, Hello Summer has a pitcher of lemonade and then some lemons on it. We are going to do our lemons with our, um, with our beautiful, color right here pucker we're gonna we'll, we'll highlight the lemon part to make it kind of stand out and be a little shimmery so how is everybody happy wednesday hope you had a great day yesterday um i did it just you know just busy like normal always 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 so um i did have to take riley into the vet for her belly so um she was spayed a week ago on monday and her belly had started to swell a lot and i was like what is going on with her and she was acting a little bit mopey i was thinking gosh you know why is she putting herself in her kennel why i i went to put her to to bed the night before and i'm like she's already in her kennel why is she doing that she never does that <laughs> so anyways um she actually they said she had like a, a big cyst that filled up with fluid because she's too active after having surgery she should not have been running around playing but it's hard it's hard to contain contain a dog and the the pain medication did not sedate her so it didn't it did not phase annie either i gave them both the pain medications that are supposed to knock them all out it did not it did nothing they just played they, they just ran so it was they drained out the fluid and they said she should be fine and then she was having some tummy some tummy issues that i thought was from the medication so they gave her um, antibodies for that anyways yeah so that was my day I spent um, about an hour at the vet they just worked me in between people because it is pretty urgent when after surgery their belly swells up like that they needed to look at it so that was a good thing got it taken care of and then just a lot, really busy with just getting um still still finishing up like month in from last month 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 in quarter end year end taxes all that stuff so um i finished up 100 percent last night yay yay so i can i can um go to my cabin if i want to or i can go do other things for chloe whatever i need to do but we're going to make this sign this morning so if you're out there watching you listen to me ramble um just say hello <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you did yesterday. What was on your agenda yesterday? What's on it today? What fun things are you doing this week? I want to know. I want to know all about it. Anyways, um, let me see who's here and we'll get started. Thanks for thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. I'm glad that I'm glad that you can join me. I love this time of my day. It's my favorite time of the day. I just I love creating. And I wouldn't want to be doing it just by myself. I love I love that you guys are all here and I can share these projects with you guys. So, um, and guess what? My order, my order from the launch will be here today. So tomorrow I'm going to have some fun new transfers to show you guys and we'll do a project. Um, I think I've already picked out which one I want to do. I think so. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it, we'll see if it works out. But, um, and I have some, I have some kits coming up. But that stuff's still coming. That order hasn't came yet. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes I really dislike waiting, but you know, you can't always be the first. Usually usually I am one of the first that gets mine. Like the people that are in Utah, of course they get their orders right away when they're shipped. But mine are mine are usually shipped within two days. You know, I get them. Um, and then when I do the overnight, they usually ship out right away. It didn't happen this time, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever it gets here, it's fine. And so, hi, Cindy. Good morning. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Bridget. Hello, Deborah. Working on first cup of coffee. I had my first cup, and it was really good. I need another cup. Um, prayers for your foot. Oh, Karen, what did you do to your foot? I'm sorry. What's going on with your foot? 
Um, hi, hi, Melissa. Oops, sorry. And I just highlighted that. Sorry, I tapped on that as I was scrolling up. Did I get it back off there? I did. Um, hi, Janine. How are you? Hi, Carrie. Good morning, Sandy. I'm packing in your new house. How exciting. That is fun. Um, where is your new house? I forgot where I forgot where you moved to. Tell us where your new house is. It's a big job to unpack. <laughs> it takes it takes such a long time to get everything put back in place. <laughs> Hi Darlene Barr. Hi Deb. Hi Deborah. <laughs> Hi Pam. Good morning, guys. All right, so let me go ahead and get back to what we're doing. All right, let me put you down to the table to show you this cute project. And I'm sure other people will join us. Facebook's been a little weird about not sending out notifications. It's okay. Um, there is always the replay. So I don't I don't cry. I don't cry when I don't see a, bu a bazillion people. No, there's never a bazillion. But anyways, I don't I don't cry. I know I know that Facebook is just that way. So here's our cute sign. It says Hello Summer. And um, there is a little picture of lemonade. Guess what? I have a hive on my hand. <laughs> so I, evidently something I touched this morning I'm allergic to. Huh, interesting. Okay, I did take my allergy medicine, so that's good. Okay, so this takes the part, and these are layers. So we're going to paint all of our layers, and we'll just get started. This this takes a part also. Um, is it scored? It's not scored behind there. All right, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. Anyways, um, you'll know where to put it by looking at the picture. These come apart. So the these are, the, there's several pieces here. There's the backer, and then there's the, what do they call that part that has yeah, that part? And then there's the skin part. Okay, so there's several pieces there of the lemon that we're going to paint. It's kind of fragile, so be careful with that. Okay, let's bring in our board, and I think we're going to need the big board for all of this. Hi, Christy. How are you? Hi, oh, Sandra. You're in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Oh, yeah, it is a huge job. Hi, Deborah. My sister and Deb. Okay, did I already say hi? I did. Sorry. <laughs> hi, Pam and Christy. Good morning, guys. All right, we're just doing a cute little lemon sign, and tomorrow I'll have my <clears throat> I'll have my product from the launch. Some people already have theirs. You know, it just it I can't have mine first every time. <laughs> I usually do. I usually do. Guess what? I took the I took the little mugs outside to see what they looked like outside the ones that we inked yesterday, the color changing ink, and it was they they turned colors. It was really cute. Let me see if I have my if my pictures uploaded. Let me look. Sometimes they'll upload overnight. Uh, oh, they did. Let me show you. Let me show you the colors. The colors. All right. So I took it. I just set it on my air conditioner, um, like the, the machine part. Okay. So look at, look at, they changed colors outside. So we have um, the one changed to yellow and the other changed to blue outside. That's on top of my air conditioner, whatever thing it is, the machine part. <laughs> yeah. That, that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can get what it looked like before. So that's what we made yesterday. If you missed it, then go back and watch the replay. Um, this is a picture of the sign and what they looked like before. It's trying to load. Okay. Um, oh, it's kind of far away, but that's okay. I can at least show you. Okay. So there, there's that. Um, can it, well, oh, it won't let me enlarge it. Anyway, so it kind of just looks like, like a uh, off-white color. And then outside, it changes color. So I have not dried them. I ha oh, haven't, I have not heat set them yet. <laughs> I'm, they're still drying, okay? I like to let them dry for a couple of days before I, before I do any, um, before I put them in the oven to bake them. Okay, I still have to bake them. All right, I'm gonna take apart all my, all my stuff here. My words, um, hello is going to be in yellow. And then summer is going to be in blue. And I'll tell you all the colors. All the colors. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Denise. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Chris. <laughs> so if you missed the if you missed the bug with the color changing ink yesterday, check it out. So I I will just be waiting patiently for it to dry. Okay, that's the outside. That's the, that's the flesh part. I think it's called flesh. And then that's the backer part. The the inside meaty part, I guess. So I'm just going to do that with each of the lemons. I'm going to just kind of separate them with the outside of the peel, the inside and the other part. And then here's all my leaves. And I'll need room for the other pieces. Oh gosh, yeah, I do. I'll need room for everything else. So I might have to move something around. 
I just, these are just really fragile, so I'm trying to be careful and not break anything. <laughs> I don't exactly like the design of, of that, but, okay, you know what, maybe that can go there. Maybe. Finding a place, a place for everything and everything in its place, right? And then this part can probably go, if I move this over, yeah, I can probably move this over. I can probably just slide that over. There we go. All right, so... And guys, you know, I'm I'm not going to be updating on Chloe until we hear something significant. I need to keep everything kind of confidential at this point. So not that I don't want to tell you guys everything, but there are some things that I just need to not be talking about on here. I, I, had, I had somebody that tried to take advantage of the situation yesterday and it seemed like it was re a real, real sighting and it wasn't. Um, found out later that, that he does that to lots and lots of people to try to get money out of them. So I, I am going to not, not be talking about things for a while. Oops. I think I just kind of broke that a little bit. So you have to be really careful with those. If you have brand new tape, it's going to be a little bit hard. So anyways, yeah. And um, people, people are opportunists. They will try to get money out of you if they can. So, um, because I don't want to jeopardize all that we have going on, I need to just kind of not talk about things. So, hope you understand. I know people send me messages, any update, any update. Um, I just, at this point, I need to just wait until we really hear, until we find her. So, I don't want to have something happen. I feel like we're close. I do. I feel like we're close. I feel that this, that people know. People out there know. People are watching. People are looking for her. And someone, someone, someone will find her. So, just understand. Okay. All right. So, colors. There's a lot involved here. So, our background color of this and we don't have to do the whole thing, but but actually we do because these little holes here show through. So this color is going to be shoreline. You can use any light blue. I'm going to use shoreline. So um, thank you. This is a fun project, but those things are small. <laughs> they're, they're kind of fragile. They're kind of really fragile. So hi, Doris, my sister. Hi, Barb. Good morning. I need to go out with my thing. Let me go out so you can see everything. All right. Somebody needs to tell me. Darlene. We can't see. All right, there is our board. And let me put myself up in the corner. I'm just gonna stand for probably most of this because it's easier. Here we go. I got my cute little shirt on. Got my got my shirt on. <laughs> Which one is this one? You guys tell me. Can you see it? Can you see it? Um I can't remember what, which one this is. I trust God and chill. Yes, I think it's trust God and chill. Okay, and then the dark blue is going to be Calypso blue. Okay, so so the outline of the of the picture and the word summer are going to be in Calypso blue, and then the light yellow in here is going to be sunny day. So this is going to be sunny day, and then the outside, like the outside part of of this, is going to be um, bright yellow. Okay, and this will be bright yellow. Okay, so so we have our colors there, and then I am going to put some. Um, of the pucker, but I'm trying to decide wh where to put the pucker. See, this will be kind of white because you know, like inside the lemon, part of it's white. This is really bugging me. I have a hive right there on my hand. You know what I have to do? I have to get my tea tree oil and put on it. Darlene, stop touching it. <laughs> Wait and get your tea tree oil. Hi, Jill. How are you, my crafty friend? <laughs> Long time no see, sister. I know you. Ha I know your life is busy. Your life is busy like mine. And we need green too. Okay, so I'll pick a I'll pick a green. We actually need two green colors, so I'll pick two green colors. Let's get this done first because I I already pulled this up. So, um, shoreline. So shoreline is the color here. I'm gonna try not to drag my sleeves through this. That's another reason for standing is to not drag Darlene's sleeves through. All right. Isn't that a pretty blue? It's just like a little like a really light baby blue in a way. A baby blue. I like that. But you can use any color you want. You can you can do any color background if you want to use a use a teal color. That's absolutely fine. A mint color. 
Yellow is not going to work because you need to do different color, but pretty much any color except for yellow. <laughs> any color except for yellow probably would work. Okay, just smooth out your lines. You want them to all be going in one direction. Once you get everything all covered, just kind of go back over it and smooth it out. And smooth out the edges. Okay, and let me get a paper towel for all of my brushes. Set that over here. And I'm going to get my green. Okay, so I'm going to have I'm going to have aloe. And let me find Hauser Light Green would be a good one over here. Let's see. Okay, so they're really not too different. They're kind of they're kind of similar, but when they're on there, it'd be a little bit different. Um, thank you, Lynn. I love the blue too. All right, now we need to put some lemonade into our little pitcher. So let's put some lemonade in there. And where did I put my little thing? Okay, here's this. All right, shake, shake, shake. This one has little lumpies in it. Uh, this is sunny day. I'm gonna do the bottom half of this is going to be the lemonade. Okay, so it's gonna be the light yellow. So we're gonna use our light yellow and then I'm gonna put, see how it's lumpy? I'm gonna put this in here too. I need some of it. It must have got frozen or something. You know, it doesn't hurt it. It's still, it's still, um, you just have to kind of press. Just like when you get paste that's a little lumpy, it doesn't hurt it. You just have to kind of smooth it out and work with it. See, nice and smooth. <laughs> and I really don't need to do the handle because there's an overlay on top of this, like an outline part. So I'm just going to do this right here. Oh, maybe this part should be all shimmery. That would be pretty if that was all shimmery, right? And then what else is light yellow? Um, the bottom part right here is light yellow. Okay, so we'll do this. I think I have enough on my brush. What are you guys doing today? Anything fun? Anyone doing anything fun? Because, you know... We all, we all deserve to do something fun, right? <laughs> I, I have work today. We, we have had, like I, I had a corporate order I had to get done yesterday. So I was working on a, on a corporate order. We do, we do things, we do weddings, we do corporate orders, our, our little picture frames we do um, for corporations a lot of times for their, for their awards or their get togethers. This one was for a Hawaii trip that the company was sponsoring. Like, like Chaka Tour gives us little gifts every night. Um, I imagine this is probably one of their little gifts, or maybe they give it away at at a meeting, or maybe they give it away as, "Hey, you won, you won the trip." But it was for a company, so and they actually their their base is here in. San Diego, so they get to pick theirs up. When I have to mail that out, it costs hundreds of dollars to ship. The company pays for it, that orders it, but I was like, hey, do you guys want to just pick it up at my house? Because I can save you some money. <laughs> I, li I like to save my customers money if I can. Okay, now the other part that's gonna be the light yellow is the inside of these. So these down here, the inside of this is going to be yellow. Go back to work today. Oh my gosh, three weeks is done already? That is. I can't believe that, sis. That is, a, that's really fast. Wow. I imagine it's going to be the same when I have my surgery, but I'm, I, I can only take one week off. And then, then I'll pay for it because my work waits for me. <laughs> I probably won't even take a full week off. My, my husband's taking a week off when I have my surgery in July. He's taking a week off, but I probably won't take a whole week off. I'll probably take, I'll probably take three days off where I don't do anything. One day for the surgery and then a couple days for the anesthesia to get out of my body. Because I, when I have surgery, I, it, I don't do well with anesthesia. It takes a while for it to exit my body. And I, I'm so tired. Anybody else like that? Just exhausted from the anesthesia. So I think it's probably a good thing. <laughs> it is probably a good thing because then you're not busy doing stuff that you're not supposed to do. Okay, I'm just going to go over this again. Now, now this is, I'm going to, I'm going to do the shimmer. I'm going to do the shimmer on here and the shimmer on here. Okay. Now the inside, I'm going to do white. I'll do the blue is going to be, let's see, Calypso blue. Okay. Let me just put that over there. Hi, Sherry. How are you? My surgery isn't till July. Yeah. Unfortunately, because that's just the way that our healthcare system here sucks. And, and a lot of it is because we, we're close to the border. And I'm not going to blame it all on that because 
it's a lot of things. So we we are a state that takes in that, that is a refuge for many countries and it overwhelms our healthcare system because they can't say no to people. They can't tell them, no, you can't come here um, and no, you can't have this or that. So our my healthcare system is through Kaiser and they they service they service everybody basically. So okay, so this yellow is cadmium yellow. So it's a bright, it's a bright yellow. I'll end up putting two. So when you go to have surgery or you go into the ER, um, it is super busy because there are a lot of people that are here from other countries that and why is why is Siri trying to pick up everything? <laughs> it's like Siri's like like bah, 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 trying to um, they're here from other countries and they get free health care. And so it taxes our people, the people that pay for their health care. Oops. You know, what? I, I need to be really careful with this because I just made a big mess inside of that one. I'm going to get a Q-tip and clean that. So the, so for the people that are paying, it takes us longer to get our appointments because there's so many other people that are in the network that are getting it for free. So it's. I don't know how that all is even possible to keep doing that, but there's more and more people coming into our state that are, I'm not trying to get political, but our our governor allows, allows this to happen. And so our healthcare system is overtaxed with those people. You know, I mean, you can't possibly keep up when you have, when you have your people, your normal people that are paying, all your paying customers. Basically, it would be like, okay, Darlene, um, you have all these customers that are going to pay for your kits, but anybody that wants one can get one for free too. So you have to give, you have to give away your, your kits free also. So anybody that asks for it, you have to say, sure, you can have one for free, but you need to keep up with your orders for all the people that are paying. Does that make sense? So that's what's happening here. So so for people that have urgent issues, everything is just pushed out. And it's, and it's not fair that it happens that way because there's some of us that really, really, really need to get surgeries done that are not able to because it's just over overwhelmed. It is, I don't know, what is the word? It is overwhelmed by all the people that have come into the country that aren't paying into the system so anyways that's the way it is <laughs> it is yeah yeah living that living here has just gotten worse and worse it really has and i i love people i help people all the time but everybody needs to carry their own weight everybody needs to take care of their own and Nothing should be free. <laughs> nothing. Nothing should be free. Okay, this color. So so let me go back over our color shoreline. And I don't know if I told you sunny day. And then we have bright yellow. This is bright yellow. That's not um, not even cadmium yellow. Bright yellow. And then we have calypso blue. So so that is why my, my surgery was bumped to July. Because they made a mistake on, on the scheduling. And weren't able to get another date because everything was taken. And here we are. <laughs> instead of having instead of having it in May, it's in July. But at least, at least it's still, you know, I went in in December. So six months later, seven months later, I'm having my surgery. So that's that's how it is. But I, I'm I will be glad to get it done. And I'm very happy with, I'm happy with my health care provider because I trust them. I don't want to switch to someone else. I really trust my doctors. It's just they are overworked. And it's it's not in their control what goes on. <laughs> They're like, we can't bump somebody else out, out of their um, appointment because we messed up and didn't get you scheduled on the month you're supposed to. So anyways, look at how pretty this is. I'm going to love this. All right, so now we need to do white here and then white at the top of that. I'll just, and white here. Oh yeah, no, no, these are not white. Those are green. <laughs> Don't do those white. So you owe, you owe so off to work you go. Oh, Cindy, I know that for sure. I was, I was working on paperwork until, gosh, what time? What time last night? 
until 1.30 in the morning, I was doing my paperwork for work. <laughs> I, I, ha I missed some time because I had to take Riley to the doctor, to the vet, and then I had to make up that time. But I just, it takes me a long time sometimes. I, I just have a lot of interruptions in my day. Okay. All right. So white, I'm going to paint. I'm going to carefully paint this and not make a mistake, hopefully. Okay. So I'm going to paint the top part is going to be white. Um, we're going to use our shimmer chalk paste for the bottom part. Okay, so we will need to do two coats of white. We always do. So I'm just getting my first coat on there. I'm going to smooth it out. I'm just going to leave it upside down. We'll just leave you upside. Oh, those are not white, Darlene. Don't do those white. This part's white. That's like the inside, like when you when you first open up the lemon. It's kind of whitish color. I'm just going to do it white because it's going to help stand out. So it will be fine. And I don't think we're going to ink anything on this one. We're just going to leave it. We're not going to ink anything. I think these would be way too fragile to ink. Okay, and then this is white here. So let me get some more paint and do this white. I'm looking at it. Do I need to ink it? <laughs> I could ink the big pieces. I could. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think you, you don't always have to do that. Okay, let's dry this. I need to put a second coat on there. Oops, let's do the let's do the leaves first. And then we'll dry. Okay, so leaves, we're doing aloe and we're doing Hauser Light Green. It's just barely different colors. Hi Cynthia. How are you? Hi Sandy. Good morning. Anybody else sneak in? <laughs> Hi Shelly. I think I missed you. And Sherry. Hey Sherry from Florida. Hi Carol. If anybody else snuck in, I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep up with everything. Okay, so we have aloe and we have Hauser Light Green. They're very similar in color, but different enough that I think it's going to work out. And so we're going to do our leaves, like we're doing half of it with, and that needed to be shook. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shake it and I'm going to get a little bit more paint out. All right, um, there we go. All right, here we go. Okay, so part of it's good, part of these, like half of it, half of each leaf is going to be one color and half is going to be the other. And they're really close in color. They honestly are. But I think they're just enough different to look, look good together. Okay, and then that. <laughs> Messages across my phone I'll have to get to them after all right there's that okay all right let's dry this I do need to put a second coat on the white I think but let's dry this first and let's see what we got and then we we're gonna add some yellow shimmer which is our gorgeous chalk paste color pucker but let's get this dry first we put a second coat on the white this is going to be really cute. I probably need a few of these for my craft show. I'm trying to gear up for that. It is time. It is time. <laughs> All right. Okay, second coat on the white, and we'll put the shimmer on the yellow, and then we will be ready to start gluing. Okay, so white, second coat, perfect. All right, our weather looks really good outside today. It's looking good outside so far. I'm going to sneeze, sorry. Oh, so sorry, guys. <laughs> I tried to hold it back, but there is no holding back when sometimes your nose just goes, oh my gosh, I'm going to sneeze. There's something in here that's making me, making me itch or sneeze. It's that time of year, allergies. Everything is blooming here. Do you guys have that too? Where, where everything's blooming outside. So we have, we have a ton of things that are blooming because we had so much rain. We don't usually, I feel, I feel like we don't usually have that much. It is so green here. It is so nice and green here. A lot of times it's really, um, really dark or, or overgrown and, 
and brown and doesn't look nice by this time of year, we are getting so much rain still. Okay, so taking some of my chalk paste and just gonna paint it on here. So we have this nice shimmery color. I love this color, I love the sparkle. It has a silver sparkle in it. Yeah, silver. I love the color. Cannot wait to get the new colors. So so I get my order today, but the new chalk paste colors aren't available till the 16th. They didn't release those with the with the early um for the early bird peoples. <laughs> That's not what it's called, but for us that was able to order early, they did not release the colors. Look at how pretty that is. It's so shimmery. I love it. Just checked your pro your order your order still processing. Oh darn it. See, there's there's some people that already got theirs, um, but there's reasons for that, you know. There's, I don't know what the reason is. <laughs> for some reason. For some reason, there's some people that already got theirs. For me, I did overnight shipping, but that doesn't mean they're going to grab my order anytime sooner than anyone else's because they said that they were not, they were not doing it that way this time. On a regular basis, when, when it is not a launch, and you order something and you have it um, overnighted, then they, if you're in there and you order it before 10 o'clock, it ships that same day, but not during launch. Okay, I don't think I wanna do these, that color. Maybe I wanna do, ooh, let's, let's do the hello. Let's just tap some of this shimmer on the hello. Even though the hello is a different color, I just kind of feel like I need to put some shimmer on it. Let's just put some shimmer on the, help, the hello. Okay, and then let's dry everything. And let's start getting this puppy together. <laughs> no blooming there yet. Just your trees budding, uh, making you see. Oh yeah, yeah. So we, ha we have lots of things that have blooms. Our, our fruit trees, our fruit trees have lots of blooms on them. I know, I love all these colors too. Aren't they pretty? It's a nice, they're kind of nice spring summery colors. <laughs> you know, they, they would work for a spring, but it does say hello summer, but it would work for spring also. Okay, let's dry. And then we can start assembling. So cute, the chalk paste dries pretty quickly. I just want it to be 100% dry before I start to glue it. I think I am going to ink the edges of the big pieces. Okay, I've kind of decided that maybe I need to do that. Not not this, not, not that outside piece because it's so thin. But what I need to do is I need to pull this off and we need to kind of assemble it. So let's just kind of assemble things, make sure that there's no paint on the back um, and get it the way that it's supposed to look and see if we need to fix anything, okay? So this is the time that we can fix stuff if we need to. All right, so this is going to just be over here on this side, assembled like, like this, okay? So it's gonna go just like that. And then it's going to have lemons in it. I'm, I'm actually not gonna put all the lemons in because it's, I feel like, I feel like I need to be really careful with that. So let's just move, let's move all these lemon pieces down here. We need to be super careful with these so they don't break. When you're pulling them off that tape, you really don't want to put them on brand new tape, okay? You want your tape to have been used a little bit, honestly. <laughs> and there's a lot, see, that one is breaking. So that that's the one that I kind of broke before. But it'll be okay. I, I will glue it. It just kind of bent. So just, just be really careful with them. Like I said, they're very fragile, but they really look good. So that's why I did, that's why I went ahead and did it that way is because I like the effect and you'll see what I mean when it's all glued together. Okay, so get all the pieces off. You know, guys, like I was saying, I, I'm not gonna really be updating you guys on Chloe until I hear something significant. Um, the scammer yesterday just really got to me because it seems so real. So, so real that this person had just seen her. Yeah, I mean, the, these people do their homework. They, they, they're listening. They're probably listening to my Facebook Lives and listening to all the things and, and they knew exactly what to say. And I could have fallen for it, but I just am not gullible. So anyways, in, in, I need to protect the whole situation and not, not give out information that other people don't need to have. So 
I need to just kind of be radio silent on that. So thank you. So if you ask me, I'll have to just say everything's going good. Uh, moving forward, you know, that type of thing. Okay, so let's get our major pieces in place and we'll do the lemons last. So we need to make sure that this is going to be the way that it needs to be on here. There isn't anything underneath this, um, but it really doesn't have to have any spacers. But if you know what I mean, most of it is going to be on here. And it kind of it kind of tips like like that. So we want to make sure that we get it all in place. So let's get the bottom part. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, were they on your live? Possibly, possibly. So people trying to trying to scam me out of money to um, for them to go pick her up, and they said they saw her. So anyways, um, I need to just not talk about it here for a while. Just know that I am continuing my search every single day. I have people working in the background that send that send me posts all day long. <laughs> Is this her? Is this her? I have people working, doing things, um, helping. So I'm not giving up. Not giving up. I feel like we're getting closer. I do need to take a little break. I absolutely do need to try to make it to my cabin unless something really breaks loose with the case. Um, I need to go up. I need to make sure there aren't any squatters there. <laughs> and sometimes you just need a break, guys. Sometimes you just need to have a little bit of a break from life, right? Okay, that's going to go there, and then this is going to go kind of like that. But what I do want to do first is I want to get my Hello Summer in there. I want to make sure that everything is going to fit. Okay, so let me just kind of put this on here and make sure all my words are going to be, there's going to be enough room, because I don't want to put that on there and have it run out. See, that's a little tight. So I think I have to go a little bit higher and then these just need to scooch. See, that is actually, is that how that goes? Um, I'm looking at this going. Okay, I think it goes like that. Yeah. Okay, so, so that looks good like that. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to get some glue in a little small thing for all my small stuff. And we're going to glue together. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sis. I appreciate it. Um, hello, Wellness Wednesday. Wellness Wednesday. Yay. Um, hi, Nyla. How are you? Hi, Lucia. Um, what, what in the world would I do if there's a squatter? Well, you know me. <laughs> you know me. Um, are the little cutout dots bubbles on the bottom? Yes. They're, they're like, they're, they're little, it's, they're cutouts. Yeah, they're, they are cut out. So you see the background behind it. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but, but they are little cutouts. Um, that last time that I had a squatter, they ran out the back door. So I, me and my sister got there and I asked her if she wanted me to go in because she knows that I always, I'm always armed. Okay, so it's like, do you want me to go in and then call the police? <laughs> or do you want me to call the police first? And she's like, please call the police first. So so we called we called the sheriff department and um, they came they came in. Um, there were several squad cars that pulled up and they grabbed their guns and I handed them my keys to the front door so they didn't break down the front door. And they, they ran in, and the people had already ran out the back. They'd escaped out the back. So the back door was open at that point. And they must have seen, they must have seen me, because when we pulled up, when we pulled up, it was it was nighttime, and the lights were on inside. And I was like, hmm, I don't leave the lights on. When I, when I leave, everything is off inside the house. So evidently somebody's been in here, and the only thing that they had done, they, they had used some laundry detergent and they had um, cut a hole in a carpet, like a throw rug carpet. Um, that was the only damage that was done was, and so I'm told that unless they really damage something or, or steal something significant, um, you cannot charge them. They would only be charged with trespassing, that's it. So 
the, the and now now because the squ squatters have a lot of rights it's very hard to get them out of your place you have to it takes it takes usually 60 days to get to legally get a squatter out of your out of your place i know how to get one out in 30 seconds so <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I would do what I have to do if I felt threatened, if I felt threatened, I would do what I have to do to get them out to, to say, Hey, you need to get out. And I've already called the, the cops. You need to get out. So, but they're having a huge problem up there. They're having a huge problem with people just going and living in, in, um, vacant cabins there's people there's neighbors that are up there that i haven't ever seen anybody at their cabin that doesn't mean that they're not there on a day that i'm not that i'm not up there but there's there's many many cabins on that street that i've never ever seen a soul at so there's people that inherit these and then they just keep them because it's an investment and they never they don't even go up and visit which is crazy. Why have something and pay yearly, you pay your taxes, you pay your insurance, you pay your utilities if you want to keep the place, the pipes from breaking, and you never go. So, so there's many, many people on the street that never, never go to their cabin. And there's a handful of people that live there full time, a handful, that's it. So anyway, so yeah, there's, there's been a huge problem up there. So I'm like, no, nope, not going to let that happen again. I need to go. And if it, if it's going on, cause before I went in there and I changed the locks because I thought, okay, well, how'd they get in? Um, did they have, is it somebody from a company that did, um, like some of my, I had people go in and do clean the chimney. I had people that went in and did plumbing and, and sometimes you leave them a key or you mail a key to their office. Did they get a copy that way? And w when I first got there, I had people that did the carpet. So all these things go through my head. So um, we, change, we change the locks and we put the locks on each of the windows. So it's more difficult. It is more difficult th for them to just open up a window and get in. Okay, so there's that. Hello, Summer. Um, let me see. Okay, are the um, small pearl beads over the bubble holes would be cute. Yeah, that would be cute. And then some in the picture. Yeah, yeah, that would be really cute. Um, you're not into lemon. Maybe because you're not a lemonade drinker. <laughs> yeah, that, and that's okay. So I, I do a variety of things because everybody's into different things. So, okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get all the backers on there first. And then I'll put all the pieces in place. I'm looking at my cheat sheet. So I have one here. I'm just gonna kind of line them up so I know where they go. One here, one here. Lemons are like a big, big thing right now. There's, if you go to the stores, you're gonna see lemons everywhere. Okay, that's gonna be there. Now it's gonna have the backer on it, so hopefully they're gonna stand out, hopefully. Okay, and then one's here, and then one is here, and one is here. Guys, I have to take off my shirt not, not that one. Like my, <laughs> I have to take off my flannel shirt. Oh my goodness. It's getting hot in this room. <laughs> my flannel shirt. <laughs> not my, not my shirt shirt. And I just dropped something. Something just, uh, a leaf hopped onto the ground. Maybe a couple of leaves. Okay. <laughs> my, my flannel shirt is too hot. I have this other shirt on under it. <laughs> okay. Let me just pick this up. <laughs> I dropped some of the leaves when I was doing that. That's so funny. I think the heater I think the heater is still on. Okay, let me get my leaves in place. All right. Um let's see. <laughs> That's so funny. As soon as I said it, I'm like, wait, wait, what whoa. whoa. <laughs> you guys. I know, I'm, I'm kind of silly sometimes, but I wouldn't actually take off a shirt shirt. Um, but as far as, it's kind of hot in this room because my heater, my heater just kicked on out there and I'm like, I have a shirt and a flannel shirt on. It's a little hot for me. Okay, I think I'm missing something. I am, I'm missing something. It must have went underneath. Let me look, let me look. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there, There is the other half, I think. Oh, maybe, no, maybe not. Um, Maybe I was missing it from the beginning. Okay, well, we're just gonna go with it. Is it on my board still? Let me look on my board. Did I not 
Did I not pull it off the board? Okay. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I found it. Okay, it's one of those mornings. It's a hot mess Monday. But it's not Monday. It's Wednesday. It's a hot mess Wednesday. Okay, that's going to go there. And then this is going to go here. I think that's where that goes. Okay. And then one's going to go here. <laughs> Lemons just excuse yes, I know exactly. Hi Laura, how are you? Yes, come back and watch the replay. Okay, just making sure I know where everything is going to be. Okay, and then this is not a piece, that's an extra piece that just goes to nothing. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Wah. Let's get all of our pieces in place. I'm just so excited about this. And then we'll get all the centers and everything on. Okay, so that's the smart thing to do is to get all your pieces out there. And then all these little small pieces that are fragile, I'll put those on afterwards. All right. Come on. Anybody else just super busy at their job that just, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for my job. And I'm grateful that, that they're busy. I am so happy for them that they're, they're super busy. Um, but... <laughs> But they are very, very busy, guys. And and so that means that Darlene is very busy. <laughs> I I'm always I'm always happy when, when they're busy with jobs. There was one year when when things slowed down so much that um I had to take a fifty percent cut in my paycheck. So I'm always grateful. I'm always very grateful that they're busy. The the bookkeeping that I do for for um, the company in Albuquerque is what I'm talking about. They right now they're doing they're doing really good. I forgot to ink things, didn't I? I did. I guess we're not inking this one. <laughs> it is a hot mess Wednesday for sure. Thanks for joining. <laughs> My paper towels are trying to jump off the thing. So yeah, there's there's lots of work over there. I know some places that it has slowed down a lot. Um, not for them, which I'm so grateful. They're, they're just such good people. I've been with them over 20 years now. Yeah, 20 years at this job doing bookkeeping. And, mo and for the most part, most of it has been just um, via the internet. I've worked from home, you know. I worked in the office over there from 2004 to 2007. Oops. And then we I moved back here. And... Yeah, that's, they're just good people. Okay, all right, now all the teeny tiny stuff. <laughs> that is that is looking so cute. All right, so the tiny stuff is the pain in the butt stuff. And you love watermelon. I love I love watermelon too. Um, we have we have a lot of that coming up. I just have to do one thing at a time. I kind of try to do I try to do things so that you can have a theme area. And we've been doing a lot of lemons, and Chocotour has some lemon stuff coming up. So. And our transfer for this month is lemon. So I try to do things that you can make a collection of. Okay, so that goes like like that. And then the outside part. The outside part is right here. So now's, now's the time consuming little tiny, teeny tiny pieces that are not so fun. I probably should put the outside up. <laughs> See, I, I am just, I'm so clumsy. Look at how cute that is already, though. Look at how cute that is. Look at that first lemon. Super cute. Super duper cute, guys. Okay, so I think what I should do is put the outside, the, the rind part on first. That might help me. We'll see. We'll see if it works better. We'll see if there's one way that's better than the other. I honestly don't know. We will find out. What else do I have coming up? I, I, I have, okay, so stuff coming up. We need to do more of the um, single day mile. And I might just do it all in one day. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll pre-paint and we just assemble because there's a lot of colors on that, a lot of little pieces to paint. So maybe I should pre-paint and then we can just assemble it. I can show you how to do that because we have the leaning ladder to do. I almost did it today and I was like, no, there's there's so much. There's so much. Um, we have the sign that hangs on the hanging sign thing, 
And then what else was there? Oh, there's the um, the basket insert for that. So a lot of you guys have purchased all of those kits. So I need to show you how to do them. I always try to do a demo on every kit that we put out, unless it's just a real basic one. Um, that's, but still, I know you guys, um, you guys like to have a demo. You like to be able to go back and watch and paint along with things, or at least have a picture so that you can look at it. Oh, look at how cute that is. This is looking super cute, guys. I love this. This is really fun. It's so bright and cheery. I love it. I love it. And I know I know my customer that's going to buy it already. I can tell you, my lady from Poway that loves all of my stuff, she's going to need this. <laughs> she just she just loves all of my stuff. She comes into my booth and and her basket is like heaping full of all of my signs and sometimes she buy she buys them for her family back back east somewhere because they can't they don't have great craft shows where where they're at. And so she buys things and sends to them. She buys my stuff. <laughs> and so so there's times when she's like buying three or four of an item. And I'm like, why do you need so many? And I thought that she was giving them away to friends. And she's like, no, my family. So I'm sure that she's, she's going to want this. I'm probably going to have to make extras so that her family can have them too. Because <laughs> she'll say, do you, are you going to make any more of these? I need more than one. I, that's at my craft show. I, I love my craft show people. I've been doing those craft shows for 30. This is 39. This is year 39, guys, that I'm starting because I started, I started in the spring. Oops, it jumped. I started in the spring with my craft shows. So this is year 39 of craft shows. And the craft show that I'm doing in June, um, she was my second home craft show that I ever did. I did one at um, at home in Alpine, and I didn't even know what a, what a home craft show is. Do you guys have craft shows in houses where you're at, or are they all just like at buildings at churches or community centers? Um, they they did for a long time. It was a big, huge thing to do craft shows in your house. And then you didn't have to rent a facility, but you did have to move all your furniture around, or you just had people put their displays in front of your furniture. So the first one I did was in Alpine, and it was Judy Arco, and she was really sweet. But I thought, I'm taking my crafts to your house. Are you just going to steal my stuff? No, it, that didn't happen. And then, you know, you do your first home craft show, and then you meet other people, and, and they're like, oh, yeah, there's this one and this one and this one. So then pretty soon you're doing more. And so Judy was my second, um, my second home craft show. And she did them in her house forever. And then she moved to a bigger house and did them there. And then her husband passed away. Um, it's been a few years now. And so she moved the craft show to a church. And she's been doing really good at that church. So that's that's the craft show that I'm doing in, in June. This looks so cute. I love that. It was kind of hard to know where to put this. I think that's exactly it's gonna work out. Judy, I'm talking about you right now. <laughs> will you um will you have a lot of summer stuff for the show? Yes, yes. <laughs> that's so funny. I am talking about you. I look over at my at my comments. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Stephanie, you need to decorate your back porch area, but don't know which way to go. Porch, um, pool, grill area. Oh, yeah. We have we have some things coming up that are for that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Judy, you were my second home show that I did. I was a little nervous doing the first one, doing Judy Arco's craft show. I was a little nervous because I didn't know about home shows. I had been doing the, the only shows I've been doing were outside shows. Okay, so I'm just going to twist this and get this in here. <laughs> Were your ears burning, Judy? <laughs> That's so funny. You know, here, here's the good thing is that I never say anything bad about people. So I never have to worry about, oh, are they listening? Because I just, I'm not that way. I don't, I don't say, <laughs> I don't talk bad about people. <laughs> not in public anyways. If, if I had something bad to say, I probably would just say it to, to your face, you know? Um, but there is nothing, not one bad thing about Miss Judy Kirk. She is an amazing lady. I love her. I love that lady. Okay. <laughs> Home craft shows sound nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, they only have big craft shows there, and they cost a lot. Yeah, they, it does. There are some places that that's the case. 
Um, here, there's probably a craft show almost every weekend. At least there used to be. There's street shows. I used to do street shows, but it's it's so hot at times. It's hard for me. <laughs> Guys, I used to do street shows where I had to take my deodorant with me because you. by the time that you got done set, setting up, you were so sweaty, you needed more deodorant. You had to have your deodorant with you to put on more throughout the day because it was so hot. Okay, I think we're done. I, ha I have lots of other cute things coming up. I have, but tomorrow I will be showing you all the new stuff because my chocolate order should be here. Look at how cute that is. That is super cute. So, so these ones are smaller. Um, I, I can do larger ones. I know some people like the 18 inch. I don't usually do that because most people aren't putting these on their front door, but you can put this in a wreath too. You can always request a sign that doesn't have holes. If you want to put something in a wreath, that would be super cute. I bet there's wreath out, wreaths out there that have lemons in them. Don't you think? Um, that was, it was a lot of work. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Judy. Um, let me see. Lemon, lemon, lemon. If you love this, give me a lemon. Do you know where your lemons are on here? Let me see. Where, where are my lemons uh, in my comments? Let me see if I can give myself a lemon um, down here. And then they're in the fruit, in the food area. Let me give myself a lemon. Oh, that was not the right one. I clicked on the wrong thing. Lemons, lemons, lemons. <laughs> Give me a lemon <laughs> and, and give me some hearts if you love this. This is a fun one. So hearts are a great thing to give to people. Hearts and hugs. Um, you don't want to do just a thumbs up. <laughs> Lemons. Okay, guys. I love this one. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for being here. Look at how cute it is. It is super cute. Let me go in a little bit closer. <laughs> there we go. All right. Lots of fun. See, I, I had it so that the pictures kind of tipped like it's pouring a glass of lemonade. That was my that was my goal was to kind of have it tipped like that. Thanks for the lemons, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. I love this time of my day. I love being here with you guys. You are the best. We have such a great group of people. If you ever need prayers, to continue, you know, to, um, if you ever need prayers, go ahead and ask us. And we'll continue to pray for those that have asked. I know Karen... Um, Karen needs prayers for her foot. And, um, you know, there's just so many people out there that, that need prayers. So just continue to do that. Be good to others. All right. Do something nice for someone today. Um, it doesn't have to be even somebody that you know. It can be a stranger. Open that door. Um, help them with their cart. You know, when people are taking a cart back and you're at the grocery store, it's like, hey, I can take that for you. You know, just do something nice. I'm going to challenge you today. I want you to do something nice for someone because it comes back to you tenfold. I promise. All right, guys. I love you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful Wednesday. It is halfway through the week. It is hump day. Bye, guys. I love you.